Hello friends, Miss Natalie here, and today I'm going to show you how to paint your relief sculpture. Um, so let's talk about the basics, starting out. I have a uh, old sour cream container that I'm using for water. Also, other kinds of tubs are really good for that. Um, I've got my paint brushes and my paint acrylic colors and then I've taken a piece of cardboard and I've wrapped aluminum foil around it to make a nice palette um, it just it stands up really well I've already started by putting a little bit of the vermilion vermilion over there and the uh, viridian here and some white on it I always start with a small amount because you can take more out of the tube, but you can't fit more in. And the last thing I'm going to do is take the black and pierce the top. I hate how I lose just a little bit of black. I put a lot of white in there because I think I'm going to be mixing a lot of colors in with white. That's not even a lot of white. And let's see, I think I'm gonna take a little burnt sienna Huh? And wow, that's not very, that's pretty, uh, it's going to need a lot of water to get it working. And some burnt umber. So I've decided my color palette is going to be uh, red and green, complementary colors, but I'm going to try to keep them from being too Christmassy by making them um, a little more interesting greens, maybe more of an olive green or even a grayish green and going with more of an orangish red. Um, I feel like I'm gonna need a lot more of that. So I'm gonna add that. And I think I might also put down a little bit of this crimson red, because I think that would be a good one too. But the vermilion is really the, the shade, that sort of orangey red. It's a much warmer red than the crimson. You can see it's, if a red could be considered cool, crimson red is a cool red. Now, before I even got my paints out, I decided to make take my sketch and make a kind of a color sample so I know what I'm doing. So my figure, the clothes in my figure are going to be in green. Um, the backgrounds are going to be in neutral colors, which are colors that you can always add to your color scheme because they go with everything and, um, and reds. So I'm going to just, um, I'm going to stop for right now because that's the getting started and I will show you in a just a bit how to start painting.